Hi, in this week's video I'm going to show you how to screencast from your Peloton Tread to your television using Miracast. I'm also going to show you what to do if it doesn't quite work for you straight away. Let's get cracking. Peloton are pushing more off the tread workouts these days such as strength training and yoga etc. Now if you're just doing strength training or yoga then my advice would be not to bother really with screencasting Instead, just use the app on the Fire Stick, or also if you've got Apple TV, you can use the Apple TV app. So where this really comes into its own is for the bootcamp classes. Now that's where you spend some time on the tread running, then you get off the tread, and then you'll be doing strength workout or, or some body weight workouts within the, the workout itself. So the two combine to make one workout. The way the tread connects to the television is through Miracast. So you'll need to make sure that your smart TV has Miracast uh, capabilities or it won't be able to receive the signal from the tread. Now, it's also worth mentioning that it's not always smooth to set up. Uh, the two main problems are uh, when it won't connect are that you just need to switch everything off and on again. You know what it's like, things don't work, you call IT and the first thing they say is, have you switched it off and on again? So you just switch off the tread any television and then you just start again with it. The second one I'm about to show you because this caused me a little bit of, um, a little bit of pain, uh, but I managed to figure it out. Here's my TV and I'm gonna go right down to the bottom where it says screen share and it will bring up the screen share screen. So you might have to go into all settings to find this. And if you look on the top left there under screen share, it says Miracast. And on the tread, you either press the time, weirdly, or settings, and it brings up this screen, and then we're gonna click on cast screen. So it's found the TV, because I've got mirror cast on, and I'm gonna click connect, and it starts searching for the TV. You should then get the spinny wheel, and if I go over to the TV, you can see that it's just connected. So the screen on the tread is the same as the screen on the television. This is actually connected, whereas I didn't think it would, and I was trying, trying to set this up so it wouldn't connect. But what you might be able to see is that there's an error message on there, and it's very laggy, and uh, it's a terrible picture. So, the reason for this in my case, and I'm telling you this in case it's the same for you, because it took me a while to figure this out, is that I have two Wi-Fi networks in my property. So the tread is on one Wi-Fi network, and the TV is on a different Wi-Fi network, and it just seems to mess up the, the mirror cast, the screen sharing. If you get a terrible picture like this, or this sort of error message or similar, put the TV on the same network as the tread. Now this will be different on all TVs, but I'm just gonna go into all settings. Let's just move it around a bit. And then I'm gonna come down on this side, oops, to network, and then I can see that the TV is connected, but it's connected on this network name. Let me show you what the tread's on. My tread is connected to this network name. Fix this, I'm gonna put the TV on the same network as the Peloton tread. So now it's on the same network, the tread and the TV are on the same network. The picture should look a lot clearer to you. Now it's not as clear as what's on the Peloton screen. Uh, this must be something to do with the casting, um, but it's just not quite as crisp. The other thing is, you might be able to see when Olivia moves around, there's a very slight lag. But if you're doing a tread boot camp class, it's a really good way to have continuity on and off the tread. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing. See you next time.